Welcome to the Impoverished Men video cast time. It's not a video cast. Well, we, we, today <laughs> we got a heck of a show for you. We sure do. We got Kumbal on. The, the fine, the always, Zumble, his new name. Yes. He wants to do a little joke with Zoom. Uh, then we got. Well, no, it's like Zumble <laughs> as in, like, it's, it's like kind of like looks like zombie in the name. That's what I was going for. Yeah, that's because you're a Zuma, dude. It's pretty fun. I'm not a Zuma. Don't call Fortnite me that. Playing right now. Stop yeah. it! I'm not okay. a Zuma. Okay. I listen, swear to God. Listen. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got Tom. Dude, you're Fortnite always... default dancing right now. What the fuck? He How did you know? Zuma. We have a special uh, Kumbal. Don't, don't be mad. Our special guest. We got, uh, uh Dan, uh, F Flan. <laughs> Okay, hey, thanks. How's, how's it going? It's Dan from it's Game Grumps. Dan it's Dan. <laughs> it's Danny <laughs> Sexbang, dude. Okay, let's. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's Dan who has peed in the Game Grumps room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, we got. Okay, so uh, oh, I want to introduce Dan. When when was the last time you did a podcast? Was it uh, the Font Camp finale? Cause it must have been a million years ago. Uh, I think that's right. Back in 2015, yeah. I think. That's uh, 15, 19, 2019. Yeah. <laughs> that would have I been mean, it. there was like the, the pseudo podcast stream thing with <laughs> love, which is what I was mistaking hmm. this for at one point. I was like, yeah, I swear Dan's been on this before, but no, it was, oh. it was like some <laughs> precursor to this. Uh, some sort of like animation with Crickland? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it would been have been like, like one of the drawing. Yeah, the yeah, 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 one of those. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, I must I, have realized. Yeah, I yeah. introed it with the joke. Welcome to the unofficial Thought Can reunion. Of course, Listen, I think Hayden was there too. Yeah, yeah. this is this is the official. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, so D Dan, it's interesting because Dan, uh, if you heard him on the Funny Thought Can podcast, Dan, did, were, around that time, were you? Uh, have you? Yes, you you started speed running by the end of Thought Can, right? You started doing some stuff, right? Yeah, I'd done a few ASMs at that point. I think uh, 2017 was my first marathon. Yeah, 2017 was your first. Yeah. Yeah, so, and I, I sort of... I I picked up uh, Sonic Adventure in 2014, but I didn't really play it seriously. And yeah. then when I went to meet Tom in 2017, because he came to my place in 16. Yeah, um, like 16. He was like... Yeah, he was like, let's do packs. And I was like, how much is that? $200? Yeah, no. And then uh, Nace... <laughs> yeah was like, oh, there's a thing there called ASM. Have you heard of it, Dan? I was like, no, what, what the fuck is an ASM, son? I don't I don't <laughs> use these internets. And um, and he, you know, it, it's the Australian speedrun marathon. And basically I submitted Sonic Adventure, which I just ran as a hobby. I didn't stream it or anything. And uh, I got in and then I went to PAX and I yeah. met a bunch of cool people. And now mm. that's kind of my thing. I kept uh, running games. Yeah. So yeah. You were in. I mean, so yeah. <laughs> I was indoctrinated. Since, yeah, since you are uh, the a uh, uh, primo, a big boy uh, speedrunner of the future on PS2 game, I feel like it is it is very appropriate <laughs> to ask you this question, this burning question: What are the best Madagascar for the PS2 strats? Uh, how do I get past the Central Park <laughs> level? Would like to skip the jump. Do yeah, you right, the New York so level. What you want to do is you want to actually run in a certain spot as. <laughs> Marty and like double jump, you'll hit a sweet spot in the level geometry. Where there's like a scene yeah, yeah, exactly, and you yeah. get to play the Madagascar mini game. And you want to I actually have no clue how to run Madagascar, <laughs> but I've watched part of a run. It's pretty. Wow. It's pretty False nutty. Profit. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The only thing I know about the Madagascar run is someone in my chat would come in when I was running uh, Futurama, and when you do no. the sewer level, they like make this roaring sound. And they'd always be like, this sounds exactly like Alex the Lion from Madagascar on the PS2. And I was like... <laughs> it is, dude. My only experience... <laughs> do, do, do you guys... <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why that hit so hard. <laughs> I, I got well, you. They told me to watch the run, and I, and I got there, and I watched the Alex the Lion part, and I was like, yeah. he's right. Like, <laughs> oh, no, it's funny because I'm just thinking, I can't even remember where the voice clip's from. It's just like someone saying, Alex the Lion. 
can't they remember Frankie where McDonald I read or something. Oh no, there's a <laughs> level on a fucking <laughs> boat where you're the goddamn penguin yeah, sneaking around. Yeah, stealth level. This like they're they're you got to hide under a box and are like doing a funny Metal Gear Solid reference, and I I laughed really hard when I was a kid. That game terrified me when I was a kid. There were like, like, why? <laughs> no, no, listen. There were late jungle levels where you had to fight a big ass. Oh monster. yeah, I get it. The lemurs. Yeah, you had you're to, very fucking spooky, dude. You, no, you have to run away from some shit like a serial killer guy. It's terrifying. They just won't stop moving. It was not fun. No. <laughs> Love was just terrified at the concept of animals having thoughts and feelings. I was and moving it. Yeah, I was terrified of the idea of electronics doing things. Uh, <laughs> no wonder you defended FNAF so long. <laughs> you put Madagascar in and you were terrified by the <laughs> black magic. Madagascar that gave me eyes. fucking ele electromagnetic hypersensitivity. <laughs> <laughs> gave me the thing. Yeah, back. <laughs> Love was actually a peasant plan. from like the 17th century. Of course. <laughs> I was sending a. I was in a call with some friends. You just reminded me of the better call soul thing. Yo. It was a. Uh, it's a picture of Chuck with like fucking impact text, and it's like, you put my opinion under a soy wojack, Jimmy, and he gets to be Chad. What a sick <laughs> joke! <laughs> so it just it gets me. It gets me too good. It's it's Yo. it's worded just like Chuck would say it. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Well. Uh, Kumble, that's an epic reference that uh, you probably wouldn't get because it's that's like several levels deep. We, I was actually talking to Kumble today about he, how uh, <laughs> we were gonna continue watching Breaking Bad because we left it off at the end of season two, and I want us I want Kumble to see the last three seasons. It's yeah, good. it's been a while since we watched that. Yeah, I remember uh, I made a funny a, I made a funny joke that you brought up on Shelly Skeletons. Yeah, how there's a scene uh, with Hank in an <laughs> yes. elevator. <laughs> And he's like having like a PTSD yeah, moment like, oh, where he's oh, just like, he's like, yeah. And I just casually said, "Dude, he's having a bra moment. He's having the ultimate bra moment. <laughs> it's real." <laughs> and like any time after that, when he had the PSD, the PST, the attack, it it, it was it was just funny. Could <laughs> you just follow the him PS2 around? Attack. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he the falls PSP away, attack. Goes, oh. The opening sound. I can't imitate that opening sound. <laughs> I, I don't think I've got PTS3 right now. Yeah. Oh. Good thing it has no games. Dude, yeah. dude, why is the opening I'm, I'm terrified. <laughs> Nothing's running above 30. <laughs> why does the opening for the PS2 have like a shepherd's note, like a descending shepherd's note? What the fuck is wrong with that? It's just this horrifying abyss. Why, why did it do that? I like the Nickelodeon slime opening that the Xbox has. Oh yeah, the, it's like yeah. really stupid looking. I, I love it. It's really goofy. Fun little bouncy. Fucking yeah. Jesus. Oh my god. Okay. Actually, oh. no. Yeah, I, I think I legitimately do have some form of PTSD from the PS2 like red screen. <laughs> oh yeah, the one where it goes. Poor. Oh yeah, I think yeah, I've seen that. That's fucking terrifying. <laughs> okay, that was like perfect. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. It goes. Oh, oh I'm shaking, dude. Really yeah. Because <laughs> my 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 parents used to commit a federal crime by buying pirated games from uh, like <laughs> markets in Bali. Yeah. And like fifty percent of the time, they just wouldn't work ever. No did, you ever did you ever get those uh, like? Grand Theft Auto 5 for PS2 and you boot it up and you're like playing as Goku and there's like Spider-Man walking in the streets and you can <laughs> fly around. Now this is, this is pre this is pre them doing GTA 5. This was like 2005, 2004. So uh, it would have just been like God. GTA 5 anyway. It's just to clickbait people into oh, buying oh, yeah, games. Yeah. It's packed onto a PS2. Disc. True, true. Dude, I fucking remember seeing like YouTube videos way back like of like <laughs> Be Mario or Sonic in like GTA San Andreas. Yeah. And I was like, holy <laughs> shit! And the the video. I was like, how do I get that? The video would start with the My, blue, uh, blue Windows Movie Maker screen. It would be like Sonic in uh, in uh, GTA, and then like, <laughs> it's, <laughs> uh, no, 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 it's like, it's like, oh, so the boy cracked. <laughs> and then they start running around. Yeah, and that's that's no. that's nailed it. Nailed no. it. Um, Fantastic. my first ever foray into modding, which is. Honestly, quite uh, quite prophetic when you consider what I've been running in the past year. But uh, I played Jedi Knight Three, Jedi Academy on the PC, and I uh, I played that as a shot. It's going, it's a, it's a good game. But uh, I wanted to like mod in characters. I found out you could put in player models, and Ooh. I just started like I looked up Futurama shit as a meme, <laughs> bro. And I actually found, I actually found it. You can play as like the robot devil. You can play as uh, the little XJ Nine. <laughs> No, they're not XJ9, that's from that Nickelodeon show. It's yeah. fucking X9 or whatever. Yeah. Um, uh, XSX. Uh, like, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna like go off on a tangent here, but <laughs> when uh when GTA Online, when all my friends were taking a break from it, and before I knew a lot of the like Australian speedrun people well enough to ask them if they wanted to play it, I was just kind of playing on my own. Yeah. And I would just do heists with randoms, and I just help them out because I was like pretty solid at the heist. And this one guy like was in chat, like just text chat. And he was like, I need someone for Fleecer, which is like a two-man heist. And I was like, sure, I'll help you out. And uh, he was really eager to use Discord. And I was like, mm. sure, fuck it, whatever. I'll I'll use voice. It's easier than using text chat in this game. And, it, <laughs> I mean, look, he meant well, but it was like this, you know, 14-year-old kid. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, he was really excitable and, like, would constantly ask me to heist after this and i just quietly removed him one day i was like you're not gonna miss me you'll find someone else but uh sounds like a fucking breakup <laughs> yeah, dude. but uh but he i remember him just asking me in a, in a call he's like do you listen to xxx temptation and i'm just like uh, <laughs> and i'm like struggling not to fucking so i'm struggling not to like Break out, break out laughing at this poor kid, <laughs> and I'm just like, you know, I just kind of sounded like his dad. I imagine I was like, no, I can't say. I mean, obviously I knew who he was, but I was like, yeah. no, I can't say I've heard of him. And he's like, oh, he's got this really good song called like Moonlight or whatever. Oh, it's really good. You should listen to it. And then two weeks later, XXX Temptation died. <laughs> yeah, because of the fucking. <laughs> like, kid, the kid. <laughs> so that kid, that kid had some voodoo going on. Yeah. Actually, I don't think it was two weeks. I think it was like two days later. It was like a ridiculously short time span past. And I hadn't heard anything about him in like forever. You know, he'd just show up in memes on my feed. I, I never really listened to him. Yeah. And then like, he showed up in memes one and last then, time. And then I just got this fucking one, two, like double whammy of yeah. like temptation in my life. Heard of him and then he's dead. <laughs> just... and, and, and the last thing the kid said before he logged off was like, Hey, uh, let's uh, let's shoot that guy over there. And you're like, what guy? What guy? There's no guy on the street. And then he logs off. And it's like, what guy was he talking about? <laughs> I, hope, I hope that kid's doing well. <laughs> Big yeah. shout out to uh, random I hope he's not in person. I mean, Jesus, man. <laughs> Christ. I hope that kid didn't kill XX because he was, he was mad you didn't listen to him. <laughs> if, if Dan can enjoy XX, then no one fucking can. Yeah, you're a really cool to guy. Do you listen to XX? No? Okay. <laughs> didn't XX Temptation get fucking. Didn't he like beat his pregnant wife? I was just about to say. Was yeah, that no, he was, he was an abusive husband. Yeah. He, was, he was a monster. Yeah. 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 And that kid. Yeah. So no. good riddance. Yeah. And that, that was. That kid did the good thing here. <laughs> that kid grew up to be Albert Einstein. Exactly. Yeah. That kid, yeah. Mm. Fucking hell. Oh. <laughs> Oh, fuck you, that. Mm. Oh my god. Okay, so if you could, would you go back and fucking uh, show out a Bertans Einstein Fortnite in his youth? Yes. <laughs> I um, love the consideration, the I deep consideration before him. I want to see I don't, how that's a like mind it, like it, his love, would, would you process what he's being uh, shown. Of course. I was just about to say, love, you think that's consideration, but no, that's just the silence of like... The lambs, yeah. I, but, no, Dan was consider. You could hear it in his fucking. Listen, Dan was rubbing his chin, going. I don't know. And but, listen, I, I would love to show fucking middle, medieval people Fortnite and Clarice, talk about tomato. Clarice, I just took out. Tomato no, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't show. I wouldn't show it to medieval people because I would be killed on the spot for like oh, yeah. the yeah. black magic. They would like, take down Tomato Town as fast. As yeah. Yeah. I would I would pull out my smartphone and they would treat it like the fucking monolith from 2000. Yeah, exactly. They like they would not know how to handle that shit. And then they'd like figure out how to turn it on cuz I got I got like a Galaxy S8 so they'd name drop thanks mm. sponsored by Samsung. They yeah, fucking course. you know they'd figure out how to on um, like get the screen up and they'd fucking shit themselves. They'd be fucking yeah, exactly. Cuz even a like, kid could do it. You yeah, know, yeah, and it's that the, easy on the Samsung Galaxy, whatever. Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> the one I have, it has this weird thing where, like, I don't necessarily have to push a button or, like, touch the... Like, here's the thing. It has this weird thing where, like, if I op flip my phone open from the case, like, sometimes it just, like, it just... The screen opens without me doing much. I just... I don't know. Hmm. Did, did, did any of you I have... Dan, do you have yeah, the Samsung no, I... copy? I don't know where I put mine. 
Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy oh. S8 now. Because mm. Love okay. conveniently brought up the looks right now. I was, I was just going to say, I think what that is, yeah. I think the camera actually detects a light difference. Because when oh. I had mine in a case, it would do the same thing. Um, mm. or it, it is in a case, like a, you know, a fold-over case. Um, whenever I'd like flick it open, the screen yeah. would like wake up. So I think there's like a sensor there, and it's just picking yeah, up. Yeah, it, it, it's it. I think well, my phone, which <laughs> is absolutely the Samsung, <clears throat> um, when I pick it up, this the screen lights up. So I think it's absolutely just light difference is standard now. That's amazing. Yeah, those those many like people I think the the camera on the rear detecting that there's suddenly light there may mean yeah, it's been picked up. Whatever. Kumbo, what what phone do you have currently? Because you you've had one for a million years, right? Uh, no, like I used to have an iPhone for a while, but then it broke. Oh yeah. Uh, right. Now I had a, like a Samsung for a while. Oh yeah, so, good. Good yeah. Samsung. Yeah, you're yeah, on brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no. Yeah, no I, I, so yeah. Okay, well, good. Were you trying to fucking call me out, making the black sheep of the fucking? Yes, I was trying to get you on brand. I was trying to get you uh, like fired. <laughs> you were trying to you trying to make Fired me the, 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 the fucking illish, oh, illish he's, idiot. He's he's ride or die with Samsung. Exactly. Yep. As we all are. True. <laughs> True. told the Samsung is Samsung is yeah, fucking they're pretty, better. They're pretty cool actually. I, they, they, of all the phones, it's the least shit. Quite frankly, from what I've seen, I don't know. I just uh, while the fact we're that rattling I... off about sponsors, <laughs> can we just talk about some nail enhancement pills? Just organic. <laughs> yeah, of course. Hey, okay, keep okay, those yeah. keep those sponsorships to your own channel. Okay. Got some cock pills. Um, uh, you, you know, you mean legitimate recommendations. <laughs> sure. Um, the funny thing with me and smartphones, like, obviously, like, I feel like we are all from a, that age bracket where when we were in high school, like, a lot of kids around us probably had smartphones. Yeah. Um, hmm. I didn't. I had hand-me-down phones and, like, $10 handsets. Same and for a real long time. Yeah. I don't... Yeah, I, I don't care for iPhones, but my family had them, so they had a bunch of hand-me-downs. And I just, like, practically begged my dad for his old iPhone 4, not for the camera, not for the internet, not for the apps. I mean, I had an iPod Touch as a kid, so, like, I had the apps. But uh, it was purely because... And, and fucking 90s kids, leave yeah. a comment if you re if you hashtag relate. Yeah. Um, when you would send a message and someone would respond to that message and to view what you originally sent, you had to, you know, go back on your phone, you had to go down to sent messages, you had to go down to the message you sent, you had to read it. Okay, that's what I said. Then you'd go back, then you'd go back up, and like on a smartphone, boom, word bubble, scroll up. Like, that's the reason. That was my favorite, that was my favorite thing about getting a smartphone was that I could keep track of fucking messages easily. I was so stoked about that. I was so happy. <laughs> that's amazing. And it, it was, it, God, I gotta say, I had an iPhone 4 for a brief time in, like, <clears throat> 2016. It was in between phones when I, you know, I think one of them broke down, and I wasn't able to get another one. So, I got a hand-me-down iPhone 4 for my dad. And I, <laughs> I I appreciate it very much, dear Papa, if you're listening. Uh, thank you for birthing me, and also thank you for iPhone 4. But, all, Wait, but I gotta say... Hey, hang on. Listen, the we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. Okay, okay. the iPhone 4. I got the iPhone 4. Funny hand-me-down. Uh... I appreciate it, but Jesus Christ, it is the worst fucking thing I've ever used. Listen, so the way Those you things heated up like a supernova. Yeah, and the way you transfer yeah, yeah. music onto an iPhone, let me tell you, it's like fucking, it's it's like oh, don't, black don't, market don't shit. Don't remind me. You, you literally oh. have to get like a, a separate, uh, you, you have to get a separate program to link it into iTunes or some shit that you then use to transfer music onto your phone. Because back then, I didn't have 4G or 3G all the time, so you know, I transfer actual like, you know, music, MP3s on my phone. For, uh, yeah, I did the same. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's a big plus of having a Samsung now. I can just so easily yeah. fucking get music on my fucking phone and, and to I, use as yeah. ringtones and alarms and shit. Exactly, and iPhones don't have fucking... You, there are no emulators on the iPhone, but to be fair, I don't. I think they've all been taken down. No, there are. There are. are. On the iPhone? Um, I, was, I was able... Yeah, I was able to load... You could, like, sideload emulators on there. Um, when I was in <clears throat> uh, year 10, I, uh, I got it... I loaded on a GBA emulator and I played Pokemon Emerald on my Hell phone. Yeah. Huh. See, I used to some of my favorite memories with the uh, with the phone shit because I I've never played a ton of phone games. I've never been that kind of guy because I I never had a lot of use for it. But my favorite thing I used to play was in like 2012. I got this like I think it was a Huawei phone. I have no idea how the fuck you're supposed to pronounce that. Oh yeah, I think it's Huawei. I don't know. Huawei, yeah. But that was yeah, back Huawei. when that was back when the emulators were so accessible. You went out to the app store, you could find them in five seconds. They were just there. And so I got my fucking Game Boy Advance emulator, and I played 
I think I played Pokemon Crystal for like fucking months on that phone and oh, it was just... I had that nasty. shit and now it's, it's gone. It's not there. I think I talked about this before, but my fondest memory with a phone game was having like... Um, like Sonic, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on my old Sonic Hell Ericsson. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. without sound. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's going way back, hell yeah. Yeah, cause, uh, yeah back when every <laughs> every phone game was a dot .jar file. That's yeah. like... That's how you know you're yeah, old school. Yeah, dude. Dude, fucking Java, I used to, dude. I used to yeah. play this, like, Scooby-Doo game that was on a fucking Sony Ericsson back in 2005. Was it the one where and you were, like, I, point and click thing? No, like, oh. you actually walk around. Like, <laughs> functionally, it, it looked a little bit like Legend of Zelda. Like, you the know, game don't, don't make, version. Don't, don't yeah. make these games sound too exciting. Is that the one where you click on They're things? Really no, it's yeah. you walk around. Oh, yeah. man, tell dude, me more. Those Scooby-Doo point and click <laughs> were the fuck it. Yeah, those were Flash games. Game. Like, what else do you expect? <laughs> You was, either, you either vaguely game. interact with stuff, or you walk Listen, around. Listen, the best Scooby-Doo game is the one where you have to make snacks for Scooby and they go off the fucking world and you have to guide them. <laughs> Has anyone ever played so it? Love, that's nothing compared I to the Ed, Ed, and Eddie food fight game, motherfucker. Fuck you! Fuck you! Now, the best, uh, the best Ed, Ed, and Eddie game was the skateboarding flash game where you're in a big hall uh, fight. Oh, that one, yeah. And jumps and do tricks. Nah, it was, the, it was the gumball contraption, uh, the jawbreaker contraption <laughs> yeah. uh, flash game. Bro, I'm still, I'm I still, I'm, I'm, I'm a food fight stand. I'm, I'm no, fucking fuck Ed and Eddie food fight stand. <laughs> Dude, okay. I, do you remember the Ed and Eddie episode where they finally get the jawbreaker and it breaks their jaws? They have to go to the emergency room. And they just like, it's horrifying. There's blood. <laughs> do you remember that episode? Yeah, and then and then Michael Moore appears and he plugged his like movie about the <laughs> yeah, yeah. American health system, the name of which I don't remember, but it was. I, I'm, I assure you, it was very memorable. Though. Yeah, yeah it, was, it, was, it was. I think it was, he was just jaw straight up there. They just. They just yeah, they just, they keyed him in, they keyed him in, they didn't even animate him, he just, like, was there, his whole real-ass self. Yeah. Just on this screen. This is the game I played, this little screenshot <laughs> that I just sent in the chat. <laughs> oh my so there's God. a, um, there's an N64 Scooby-Doo game. Um, Scooby-Doo, for a while, was, like, an injure <laughs> the Oz Speedruns community. Um, there was just this meme of, like, one day we'll run Night of a Hundred Frights at an event. By the way, it happened. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I ran it. I was completely toasted. That was um, a good story. It was a very good run. Un unfortunately, the VOD no longer exists, but it was really funny. Um, mm. But yeah, we, we played the N64 Scooby-Doo game called uh, Classic Creep Capers, and it is possibly okay. the single most <laughs> awful pile of shit that I've ever had the misfortune of experiencing. Really? Um, it's like Resident... Resident Scoob, which sounds awesome, but like <laughs> oh, you can't it. fucking interact with anything. You just slowly walk through all the levels, uh, and like it's a guys simulator. walk along after you, and and that's it. it. It's like amnesia. You can't defend yourself. They know true horror. <laughs> like you just you walk around. Scoob, oh my god! Get attacked right. by fucking faceless ghouls, and they fucking murder you. Yeah. Well, like, amnesia. It, we got to like sense. we got to like level three, and. and like they they were just fucking with you at that point. They they gave you these huge open areas because you're like like you're like in Hawaii or something. You're like near the beach, and you just like be walking around. And there was this massive fucking area just completely empty, and you just had to walk from one side to the other. And I'm like, ah, oh, I see. The developers fucking hate me. <laughs> so we just kind of stopped. Yeah. So so wait, the game is called. If I get this right, classic creep capers. Yes. Are those all K's? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that would have been a fantastic time. <laughs> then the game would have at least entertained me on some Yeah, level. exactly, and it would have been ghosts there and kind of ghouls. Oh, oh no. We're yeah. fucked up. Some dude. wizards? Yeah, exactly. The Grand Wizard no, was Old no. Man Jenkins. <laughs> That's not even remotely surprising, actually. The Grand Wizard was the fucking guy. I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you. <laughs> for your race mixing fucking kids, yeah. It's fucked up. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh. oh, Dan, one thing I remember about your speedrun thing is that that ev there's there's that one event you went to. I think it was the Australian speedrunning event. Maybe, or maybe it was, I don't know. It was one of them. But there's this classic GIF that I still have in my picture folder where I think it's, it's you just sitting in the background, this blurry image while somebody walks past you and you're just staring at the camera. And what was the thing you did? God. <laughs> Dan, do you remember that gif? Did I wave or something? No, no, I, I don't remember the gif. Yeah, because I don't know, it was something. 
it just it just cracks me up because it's you this blurry shape in the background and you're staring <laughs> at the camera. I don't know. That it sounds like um. That sounds like it might be ASM 2018 or PAX 2017. Yeah, you're pretty boring though. Sounds- yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I man. mean, the, the, the 2017 one's probably the one yeah. that 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 gifts from because that's the that's the event that everyone tuned in. The classic creep. I know that Matt clipped uh he clipped me just sitting there in the crowd. Yeah, that's probably the one. That man. might be the gift. It's just cool. this Twitch clip, and it's just like. <laughs> Dead in the crowd, boy! And you can't even fucking tell, like, who's who in the crowd. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, dude. I, okay, Dan, I gotta ask you. Um, so, I, 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 like, before you start doing speedruns, and even now, do you, do you tend to watch a lot of different speedruns of various games? Are you, are you kind of uh, into watching all of that? Yeah, I, I I started watching it more when I got more involved with the communities, and when I started streaming more, um, yeah, I kind of if someone follows me and I go to their channel and I see they run, I kind of just follow them back because I just like having people to to raid. I don't know, I, I like sending people to like new channels and shit. It's a nice feeling. Yeah, exactly. Uh, hashtag holier than thou. Um, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I. Uh, yeah, I, I've been watching a lot of Jack speedruns lately because I've been picking up Jack Two again and like Jack. playing through that game. Yeah, yeah, good old Jack and Daxter. A bit of a uh, some Ratchet and Clank runs as well, just the the classics. See. And uh, yeah, most mostly just friends, I guess, or people in communities that I know. Yeah, um, I mean those communities are pretty cool from what I've seen. Yeah, yeah, no, like a lot of them because I've been like watching or at least looking up speedruns since like 2012 right but my internet sucked so i can only watch like youtube vods yeah so i've been like looking in on it for a long time but i only started to get involved around well i started streaming in 2018 but i wouldn't say i really got involved until like 2019 or 20 yeah with like online spaces so like i don't know it's it's been cool um because i remember looking at ratchet and clank runs when i was like 15 16 and i was like this looks hard as fuck i'll never be able to do anything in this game and then like last year i was just like okay i'm gonna learn ratchet and clank one and then I did. yeah i did i'm not like super amazing at it but i can do all the tricks so it's interesting it's a good feeling because it's a uh, it, it is that kind of thing where you're like i could never fucking do it. that's like superhuman like and then and it's like oh okay there it is that's how i f- that's yeah and then you just that's how i always felt yeah. about animation before i started doing it. i was like no nobody can fucking do that you're that's not real <laughs> and then, yeah. that, that's how i that's felt how about- i still feel I, I could never have the patience <laughs> for animating i used to think that way about like okay as an artist like yeah. cross hashing uh, shading that's the thing i do a lot yeah but back in the day i was like Dude, there's so many fucking lines you gotta draw. <laughs> I'll never do that. And I was like, ah. I, you know, I think this part because it starts yeah. being fun. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Thing. It, it, it's sort of there's a sort of psychological thing going where you're like just crossing the thing. Ooh, yeah. No, yeah. it's like yeah. weirdly relaxing. The shading. Yeah. It, I think it, it's really fun to do like line yeah. shading on physical art. That's fun. But yeah. a lot of art like that, that whole little fucking, yeah. t- that technique comes off as like something that would, uh, you would assume be super fucking detailed and hard to do, but no. Yeah, it's not, it's not real. Huh. I, because I, I want to, I want to take advantage of this podcast and talk about some of my favorite, uh, speed run moments. And this isn't just oh. going to be what you, what you all think. It's not going to be funny cringe. It's not going to be that. <laughs> you please you, you've all quiet. Seen, would you... Could you please <laughs> listen? Listen, I, I might. Okay, it's not just gonna be uh, some of my favorite little moments because I used to uh, I used to watch a ton of the uh, games done quick things because I just like how it's different games every time and you you're sort of rolling the dice. Like sometimes you get somebody who's like really charismatic and he runs something that's cool, and most of the time I don't know. It's it's somebody who's kind of monotone and they I don't know they do hmm. something. And I get it, I get it because like I'm not. Uh, I, oh, it, it's yeah. kind of, it's extraordinary to be able to fucking like be able to have like life actual commentary and fucking do this insane speed run that's insane i don't know how people do it but yeah no i can imagine a lot of them aren't <laughs> super focused on entertaining the crowd yeah exactly but I, yeah so, so, th- th- this weird this awkward thing about gdq that's always made me feel so weird is the fact that like th- they play these uh, wacky games and most of the fucking donations are just like oh hello 
uh, my entire family got cancer last year, so thank you, and it, <laughs> my, my, all of them died yesterday. Yeah, there's, like, it's it's nice that they're donating, yeah, exactly. and, like, they yeah. have a personal connection, but it's always just, like, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't quite gel. There's, there's actually a, um, there's an online GDQ donation generator that just, like, takes text <laughs> from all the donations, <laughs> and it just, it generates, it's, like, simultaneously absurd and almost, like, weirdly realistic. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it's it's pretty. It's it's one of those things where like I don't know how it could be improved because it's like it kind of has to be that way. Though, it doesn't work. But I think the only way it can be improved is by the timing yeah. wherein it's over. Like some guy just saying like, "Yeah, so we're gonna be doing the Bing Bing Wahoo skip yeah. right now." Oh no, no, no. Like, so you say that you say that like that's a joke. That's happened. I think it's I know, happened but... multiple times. Oh. I know, but that's what I'm saying. That's the only way it can ever get funnier is if the the, the timing of it gets funnier, not the, the actual statement. There, there is a famously bad time donation <laughs> reading in a GDQ. Um, I think it's one of the older ones, and basically someone donates, and maybe it might have been 2016 or 17. Maybe it wasn't. Is that, that the one where he's like, everyone clap? Oh. Yeah, it's oh. like, my grandfather died of cancer, and the guy was in the middle of doing a really tough oh. trick. He lands a really tough trick, and the whole crowd just, oh, like, pops no. off. <laughs> 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 of course, like, everyone everyone at home noticed the unfortunate timing, and it got clipped, and now it's, you know... My grandfather <laughs> died of cancer. Oh, Hi! <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. oh God. Oh, yeah. fun times. Yeah, no, there's a, there's a couple... There's a couple, uh interesting moments from speedrun marathons for sure my, my papa got owned by leukemia just two minutes ago <laughs> yeah. that was a good Damn trick God. everybody yeah. i fucking Wah! dude th there's a very few games that i can like watch several speedruns of but one of them this one i can watch a million speedruns of this game i i keep watching speedruns of majora's mask i don't know why it's so entertaining it has this weird flow to it where i can watch a million of them because they're they're also weirdly fun yeah like um what what sort of do you know what categories you watch or do you uh, just like watch any? Let's see here. I think I mostly do. Uh, yeah, I think it's mostly any percent, but I do like the hundred percent because that one's insane. Because it's it's still really short, but they're just yeah. It's so often there's a guy called uh, something Squidward. I don't know what his name is. I don't know. Grumpy oh Bingus. I don't. I think I've seen the name. <laughs> yeah, but he he did one of those things, and the thing I like about the speedruns is that there's in, inherent tension to every one of them because they're literally like they're go cutting it so close with the time limit, and it just you can see the moon fucking near the Earth at all fucking times. It's, mm. uh, it's cool. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I I love how like. I always find, like, when you learn a run of a game, like, what was complex to a regular player becomes simple, and then you always seem to fuck up on the easy shit yes. that you do casually yeah. in a run. It's just every time. There's just something about it in a run where, like, even though, like, when your head's empty and you're just playing it normally as a kid, it's like, oh, this is no problem. Then you're running and you're like, why the fuck is this, like, the worst place ever? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, uh... It's interesting it's very interesting but yeah no um ocarina of time and majora's mask are both very interesting they've had like a long history of um trick finds and whatnot and hundo hundo in both those games is really just comfy it's really nice to watch yeah it's true oh god oh i i also used to watch a lot of uh, castlevania speedruns of the first three games because those are i like games that are already inherently hard <laughs> people are trying to speedrun i don't know that fascinates <laughs> me oh my god yeah, I've had a lot of fun watching uh, some God Hand runs oh, yeah. recently, which is like really satisfying to watch. There's like a Japanese player that I think he has the record for hard. Yeah. Um, and he's he's really really fun to watch. Like just total. Uh, like obviously, like Drama basically, island. the thing with God Hand is like there's an element of unpredictability to the enemies on higher difficulties, and it just it just looks like none of that exists when he's when he's playing. He's just there under his finger. Yeah. And it's uh, it's really cool. So I have a question. Yes. Uh, for someone as me, uh, who doesn't know uh, jack shit about speedruns, <laughs> um, I, I got a little fun question. What are some of the weirdest games that you guys know has been speedrun? Yeah. Like, is there a professional Angry Birds speedrunner? Oh, undoubtedly, there has to be. <laughs> Yes. I mean, I w <laughs> um, there is someone I know who runs Jack and Daxter. He got his start. Um, well, he got his start on the world's hardest game, if you guys remember that, where you're playing as a little square. Yeah, And yeah. you have to, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool game. It, 
good little speed game because like there are actually a couple of tricks in there where you, you can fuck with like the hitboxes and like go through shit in certain areas. It's it's really cool. Um, but he also has a bunch of records in subway surfers, <laughs> <laughs> and I never knew that, and I, it blew my mind. I was like, subway surfers has a speedrun category, like an endless runner. Dang. Um, I have world record for console in an american tale for the ps2 that's oh, another one the, wow. the game based on um, the dumb blue movie is that it yeah. yeah okay yeah yeah it came out in 2007 that, that wow. ps2 game <laughs> it's, it's terrible it's so fucking terrible <laughs> um i basically learned it as a meme i was like okay how much is this terrible game uh because dustin yeah pointed it my way he's like look at this terrible fucking game you should run it and i was like okay how much is this on ebay four dollars okay <laughs> And I, <laughs> I got a copy. I still have it for some reason. And uh, you know, I routed out the wrong. Yeah, I can't get rid of it. I don't think anyone wants to buy it. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just the route of the speed run. You know, I'm doing some heavy fucking finger quotes here. I'm getting some, yeah. you know, RSI. <laughs> um, it's literally just do this level a bit fast. Like I think the first level is the only interesting one in the entire run, and the rest of it is just really dull. The second level on PS2 runs at, like, 12 frames a second the whole time. And then when you hit the level goal, the whole game just speeds the fuck up because it goes <laughs> back up to, like, 60 FPS. 60? I <laughs> don't know why. I think it's just, I think it's just like, the level's way too big and everything's, like, rendered at once. So it's just lagging the fuck out of the PS2. And then when you finish, it just culls everything. So the frame rate goes back to normal. I don't know. That's uh, fantastic. I have no idea. That's my guess. Damn. Man, man I remember back in the day where... Whenever a new fucking children's movie would come out, oh, it yeah. would have a game. <laughs> it, it, it feels like that isn't. I miss that yeah. shit, dude. Yeah. yeah. Fucking. I gotta say, like, <laughs> like I recently watched uh, like the streamers uh, Crycon and Tomato. Uh, yeah. They played a Ratatouille game, and Fuck holy yeah. shit, that fucking thing! Oh, dude, I played the Ratatouille game. It's not bad. Yeah. It's weird though. <laughs> brilliant it oh yeah no very it's very surreal they have these like strange dream sequence levels yes. where like remy's dreaming of food yeah it's, and i also yeah, remember really how, strange but I, um, I remember how the grandma's uh, double barrel was changed to a fucking spaz 12 or something like yeah, that it's like a real ass shotgun <laughs> that just goes from yeah yeah <laughs> that's uh, right what uh, this is a grandma with like a real ass shotgun in the Ratatouille game. I think it's a model from another game. Bro. They just it looked from like it. Or some shit. <laughs> just totally well, in the movie, it's like this old fucking double barrel. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, fucking. It, it, see, it's. Hey man, people in the French countryside are packing some <laughs> serious fucking heat. That's the moral of Ratatouille. <laughs> That's the meaning. Cool. The thing you were talking about earlier when you said the weirdest <laughs> games I've seen speedrun. Mm -hmm. I wasn't as much as I was joking about the Madagascar game earlier. I saw a speedrun of it yesterday. I was in a call with somebody and they were playing it on a dolphin emulator on a GameCube thing. And I was like, haha. And they're like, yeah, I'm gonna speedrun. And I'm like, oh really? Okay. And then they sw <laughs> flip over to the Google Chrome tab. <laughs> they're watching a speedrun. I'm like, what? what? <laughs> And, and they, they were sincere trying to perform these tricks, trying to get the super jump, and I was like, the fuck it? What is this? But, Dan, I have to ask, because I've, I've been curious about this this whole call, and I, I, I gotta ask. Uh, from what I heard, uh, you you have had the world record on the Futurama game, right? Yeah, I'm the... As of right now, I am the world. I was, right now, I was told well, this while we, while me yeah. and Love were watching Futurama, actually. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, Dan uh, killed the producer of Futurama, and now he's the world record man. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh, that's right. I was like, that would make him a very interesting guest for this podcast. Yeah, exactly. He killed. Yeah, he's currently wearing Matt Groening skin. As yeah. Well. If you if you can kill, I mean, he's earned it. If you can kill the previous world record holder, <laughs> you win. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> So what, that's how it works. Uh, do you feel? Uh, do, do you feel like uh, the, like the record will be taken quite soon, or is there like is there not a ton of competition at the moment? <laughs> oh dear. God. Um, there's one runner. I'm actually. It's funny you say this. Before I got in the call, I had a, a Twitch tab open uh, for Fin Runs. It's a Finnish marathon, and there's a guy who runs it on Xbox 360 called Bakerman12, and he is. Uh, He's pretty good. He put in the practice, and he's he's been getting good times. Yeah. Uh, the 360 version's not the best. It's not the best console for the game, but he's been getting very good times on that system. So if he switched to an OG, I think he could uh, 
he could give me a run for my money eventually. He's pretty good. Damn. But other than that, like, it's it's a very niche game, and it's hard to get an Xbox, and it's even harder to get a copy of Futurama. So it's probably going to stay niche, unfortunately. Probably. But um, it's expensive. Yeah, there are a couple of dedicated folks. There's like another person in the Discord who like got an actual OG Xbox, and they're like actually strat hunting and stuff. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Like, damn. Hmm. See, so, yeah. I mean, I I would like to I would like to see people get close. I think it, it makes the game interesting because I've been running Jack Two lately because I'm just like, you know what? I'm I'm happy with Future Armor. I just I don't feel like playing it today, and I'll just play Jack Two and chill out. So. Yeah. I, yeah, I, th I think I think I could be both. Well, other speedrun, uh, future run speedruns, watch out so you don't commit suicide by several bolts in the back of the head. So let me. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> I, it's funny you talk about. Games. <laughs> it's funny you talk. Sorry, about that 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 hit yeah. that really hit. That yeah, dude. <laughs> well, it's it's funny you talk about getting original Xbox because I is that is getting original Xbox hard nowadays? Um. Well, it's not hard, but it's just a little pricier than like. If wow. you want to get a PS2 or something, that's, um, a, that's amazing. Because I got an original Xbox in 2015 for literally 10 bucks, and it's literally propping up my records on my shelf. <laughs> <Not using. laughs> Hell yeah! You should soft mod that thing. Just yeah, load dude. on whatever you want. Exactly. I, I, we're definitely gonna use it because I have this. I have this port that fascinates me. There's a port of Half Life 2 for the original Xbox, and it runs fairly yes. okay. It's so bizarre. Yeah, hmm. it's, it's actually a really impressive little port. It game. is. Because like the the only thing about it is that like it looks a little like a little crusty. It's like it's like it's basically like the PC version with lower graphic settings, but it it runs damn well. I don't know, we're crazy. Yeah, I think it actually runs. I'm not too knowledgeable about Half Life Two, but I think it actually has some like weird tweaks made to the Source engine on yeah. that particular port. That's like really strange, but I'm, I wouldn't be able to tell you what they are. But I, I think that's the case. I remember I played uh, Half-Life 2 on Xbox 360 because yeah. my brother had the orange box for the 360. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a pretty good... I gotta say, the orange box back in the day, and that, before, you know, TF2 was made free and, like, all the shit was like... Oh, thing. yeah. Yeah, but before all that... I got that just, like, maybe, like, a year before uh, <laughs> yeah. TF2 became free to play. Of course. The, the orange box before all I that... you're that, happy you've got that hat now. <laughs> Oh yeah, I yeah. wear it with pride. Of course, <laughs> the See, proof of purchase, boys. The, I also think it's just a cool hat. <laughs> of course, I I, I gotta say it's the orange, bad, honestly. The orange yeah, box back in the day had to have been a, an amazing purchase because that shit, like, wow, you get like fucking Half Life Two, all the episodes, you fucking poor, you get Team Two, like, mm. god damn. Yeah, no, I got that a lot of entertainment first, out of it. Uh, yeah, that was the first uh, game I ever bought on Steam. Was the orange box? That makes sense. Yeah. I got yeah. I, I just copy. saw it and I was like, "This is yeah, great value. I'm gonna it. buy it." And then, like, I think shortly after, or like shortly before, I was like saving my money. I think TF2 went free, and I was like, "You know what? This is still a really good fucking deal." Yeah. Um, so yeah, just, yeah. Even like, even with a free TF2, the orange box is super good value. Yeah, definitely. Oh my goodness. Oh, you wanna know a fun <laughs> thing about a uh, Valve game I bought? Okay, so I bought the. Uh, at some point, I bought this thing. It was like the Half Life Anthology, which was yeah. basically Half Life One, Blue Shift, and uh, Opposing Force. Yeah, those ones. Mm. But because I'm a gosh dang European, do you guys know which version I have? I have the version where the the fucking Marines are replaced with fucking robots. <laughs> oh, you got the German version. <laughs> some yeah, apparently. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, that's fucking awesome. I want that version. It's amazing. <laughs> That's. Oh. I, I mean, also it makes remember... their voices make more sense. Here's another fun thing. I don't know if you, many Americans know about this, but the European version of Team Fortress 2, that one is also weird. Is because it? that one doesn't have blood and giblets. Really? I, I remember for a long time, the blood was replaced with yellow, and whenever you blew up, it was like these random little fucking objects. See, that sounds more Australian. <laughs> yes, uh, like, for some reason, my Team 2 was like that. It's like this. Yeah. Sounds like German. See, like, yeah, just, yeah. I, I just think German when I think of any kind of censorship. Yeah, yeah, and yeah I'm we, Swedish, like, so what the fuck do I have that? Right bands, yeah. They don't, like, say, yeah, just change the blood to piss. I feel like the thing <laughs> with Australia is we just kick up a huge fuss whenever something gets fucked with. I think we've only had, like, three or four major instances, and we just, we just kick up a huge stink about it. We're just yeah. really annoyed. Whereas, like, Germany's like, you know, they're that, uh... They're the fucking yes, honey guy, you know, from that Ban it. <laughs> Bang, yeah. it's time for your four o'clock censorship. Time to play more forklift simulators, you know. Yeah, <laughs> honey. <laughs> like, I'm actually really annoyed at the classifications board 
because they they uh, refused classification for Disco Elysium just the other day. Mm. See, it doesn't bother me anymore because I remember fucking Katana Zero. Shout outs to that game. That was a cool game. Um, that came out and I bought it on Steam. I was like, this looks interesting, and I like Devolver, so I buy the game. And then I found out it's not rated in Australia, and it was like they, it's technically not for sale and i was like well it's right here on steam and the devs were basically mm. like yeah don't care didn't ask oflc we can just put it up online <laughs> and then it came out on switch anyways so i have it there too so mm, sweet yeah. <laughs> mm. the, the, like i still i'll still have disco elysium but i'm just oh. the, the, the classification board is uh quite frankly quite stupid oh man i remember <laughs> i remember because that... it was like it was, it was an issue mm. of drug use and it's like the game oh, really it was it yeah, yeah, the, the game really fucking punishes you for drug use. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Well, I remember when Left 4 Dead 2 yeah, came out. That was the big one. That yeah. was, that was the big one. That was sort of... That was, like, uh, so for international listeners. Um, the thing with Australia's rating system for a while, um, I'm going to use the ESRB and PEGI as examples, right? So you have, like, PEGI 12, blah, 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 all up to, like, PEGI 18. Which is like that 18 <laughs> sounds fucking funny, Peggy. But um, <laughs> there'd always be that serious voice in trailers too, trying to make Peggy it sound 18. really officially. Be like, you know, Peggy 12, and you'd be like, look, dude, just don't even try. Like, <laughs> but um, yeah, like it had an 18 rating basically, and same thing with M for mature in the states. We didn't have that. We had uh M A 15 plus, which is for films the second most restrictive rating. It was like you know you have to be 15 or older, and then we had R 18 plus, which is you got to be 18. And basically, until I think it was 2014, we did not have an R rating. So what the for government games. would do, they'd be like, oh, oh, little baby... Ch yeah, just for games, by the way, just for games. <laughs> um, they'd be like, oh, little baby children could be playing this game, little Timmy. So they'd, oh. you know, censor games or whatever. And it was always just really egregious and inconsistent. Like, Left 4 Dead 2 got censored, but, like, equally violent games at the time didn't, like... I it's, mean, one of, the, one of the one of the stipulations that got Left 4 Dead fucked with was quote violence against authority because of the riot cops on this. Oh, <laughs> yeah, come that on. Was <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, that's that's something you you would not see happen nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, uh, I'm trying, I'm trying to think of some of the like most obnoxious like censorship stuff like that because I feel, okay, someone, do you ever have a a, a thing? Uh, you would like to watch or listen to that's censored, but it was never unfucked, so it's just like that. I remember, I remember, I couldn't watch South Park for a long time, like South Park Studios in uh, yeah, it was, Europe. Uh, yeah, though that, that, I think that was. A I was actually issue. about to say, um, oh, two hundred South Park was never uncensored for me, but I always think the cursing in South Park was funnier when it was bleeped. Yeah, I. There's just it just had more like impact with the audio, like. It's because we've had, like, YouTube poop brain rot our whole lives. Like, we're just conditioned <laughs> to think certain sounds are really funny. Yeah. And I just think when, like, a South Park character says fuck and you get this really abrasive, like, beep in the middle, it's just funnier to hear that coming out of, like, Carmen's mouth than just him saying fuck. See, honestly, we've been watching South Park recently on the site and there yeah. it's completely uncensored. I actually I actually like it better uncensored because it just, like, it it feels really, like, I don't know, raw, like, because I've never heard it like that. <laughs> and when, when Cartman goes, fuck you, come on, like, it's just like, what the fuck? I've literally never heard that before. Do you know what's also yeah, I, really funny about that? <laughs> we used to watch the sub. We used to watch it on Love's old DVDs. Yeah, that he because had. I have this giant stack of DVDs and we're watching it, and we're yeah. like, "Wow, look at these fucking what was it? Fucking four by three little fucking squares that were scanned off like an <laughs> yeah. old man's fucking donkey farm." It's like, what the fuck? And yeah. it's, it's complete. And shit. then when we switch over to South Park Studios, it was like night and day yeah. with the fucking quality. The, the amazing thing about the South Park Studios remasters is that they made all of them widescreen. They went back and made the old ones widescreen somehow. Oh like, shit. The, That's files. impressive. It's amazing. Yeah. And it's not like just stretched or zoomed not at all. in. It's like they, actual... They actually wow, went in. There was impressive. a big project in 2009 where they remastered all of them. It's pretty crazy. It's actually awesome. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, but I, I gotta say, one, one piece of censorship that annoys me so hard, because it, it, once again, it's a situation where it... it yeah. 
I, uh, there's a fucking, there's a Frank Zappa album called Zappa in New York that's a live album, and in that album, there is a 10 minute song that was removed <laughs> from the first side of the album, so mm. you, if you look at the LP, because it was done last minute, it was chopped out, and you can see that the first side is like 7 minutes long, and it has like a million like miles of groove going into it, it's like, what the fuck happened, and they removed a 10 minute song from the fucking <laughs> album. Yeah, the the studio, the the distributor got their car keys out and just went to town. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Have you guys seen that image? Oh, like the really cursed image of like a guy in a Facebook group, and he's like, "Do you guys ever like?" Enjoy having parts of your album cut to other parts than normal. I I make groups oh, myself, <laughs> and it's just like, and it's this horrible looking like keyed in groove, <laughs> and he's just completely wrecked the record. I think it's really funny. I know people who find that yeah. thing sort of like just painful. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, that, that is funny. But, um, he just completely yeah, yeah, just wrecked the record. You sent that to me. You sent that to I me, and uh, the, and uh, I said like me with my King Giz albums. <laughs> Yeah, dude. <laughs> just have them cut, cut the thing. Yeah, just skip like eighty percent of them, and yeah. you good. Yeah, <laughs> skip the second half. Not a gone infinity. Just blue. skip from the first song to the last song, and then <laughs> you good. Oh. Uh, my favorite, my favorite playlist for Nonagon. Robot stop road train. Robot stop road train. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, Kumbol just cut to the point. The reason that's funny is because uh, the funny meme with Nonagon Affinity is that it goes on eternally. So the first ha song and the last song connect with each other. Mm -hmm. So if you put the first song and last song both together just over and over again, it just keeps going back and forth in a little loop. Wow. <laughs> that's the meme. Thank you. I explained for the audience too. Yeah. The more you know. Also, I gotta say, King Gizzard's funny little gimmick where they they make like 80 songs where the the whole song is just them repeating the title over and over again. It's uh it's it wore wore Finn about eight thousand fucking years ago, and I, I don't I I don't know I I've sort of like fallen I fall I fell off the King Gizzard thing a while ago because I don't know I feel like they they they've stretched themselves thin in a lot of ways. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, did everyone die? Uh, hello? Hello? Gang? I can't hear you! I can't hear you! Um... Can you hear them? No. Oh, fuck. Is there settings? Is the fucking headphone jack connected on the thing? It looks to be. Uh... That's speakers. What the hell? What the hell? Wait, I'll leave the call now. Baby, the there you are. Now, now we can hear the audio. Okay. Okay. It's fixed. Okay. The audio it's cut out for yeah. some reason. It's good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, King Gizzard. Yeah, Kingy Bizzard. Uh, stupid. Thank you. That was <laughs> what the hell? They're gone. Still can't hear them. What the fuck? Get whoever said Discord. Quit the fucking shitty cheese job and get on your technical shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh no, it's no, not. Now I hear. I think it's. Uh, I think it's internet. It's internet. Yeah. King is it? Now I hear. Now I hear. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Well, at least we're at the fifty-minute mark, so we're getting towards the end. Whatever. Wisdom. Yeah. Oh, they cut out again. Uh, yeah, no, we're still here. We just weren't talking for a second. Oh, okay. <laughs> Something, something's wrong. Okay, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, I, I feel bad for the audience. We just got, like, a free entertainment of, like, you guys being like, Yeah, like, we were just sort of... Skip up on the <laughs> show! Yeah, like, and, yeah, and at one point it was just about King Giz. <laughs> And then just yeah, and then, and then something else, like, fucking, you know, Skip it up! Not up! <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh... Uh, scat man's world. Welcome I was, to the scat I was actually, man. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, love. I don't know if I told you, uh, yeah. the OCs. You know, I like them yes. a lot. They're my yep. favorite yep. band. Um, they're doing an online show. If you're interested in getting a ticket, I think it's like four USD. Oh. Like, and that's in like that's next month. That's interesting. Uh, and they're just they've like already recorded the show. It's just gonna be like premiering yeah. for people to watch. But yeah, if you're interested, yeah, that's, a, that's pretty cool. A lot of bands are doing that look. Uh, nowadays, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of into it because I, I really like, uh, 
a well-made concert film because it is the perfect second yes. screen material. It is like perfect. I don't know when it's really well done and it's a nice quality. Is oh, it's good. But uh, yeah, yeah, I completely agree. And I love just like like when you're at like because I've seen the OCs like in person live. Yeah. And it was a really good show. Uh, Tom was there for yeah. it as well. It yeah. was fantastic. Um, I'm still wearing the shirt from that. Hmm. Oh, the Orb shirt. Hell yeah. yeah um, the Orb shirt. Yeah, yeah. yeah Orb, another band. We're just gonna, I'm just going to drop band recommendations for people listening. Check out Orb ORB. They have a good song called A Man in the Sand. Get started there. Fun. But, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> but they were really good live. And what I like about the recorded stuff is you just get to hear, like, all the little, like, banter between the bandmates in between yeah. songs and just kind of, like, chatting with one another. And it's, it's really nice. You get that little, like, uh, intimate feel. You know, you sort of, yeah, you get to feel like you're sort of hanging out with them. It's nice. It's really yeah. well done. I, I really like the kinds of live show, like uh, concert film live show things where they, they, they're they very aware that they're making a concert film and they just sort of like, they, they lampshade it a lot. I like that kind of thing. <laughs> they, it, it's a different yeah, it's feeling. A good time. Okay, I'm gonna, okay, I think we should probably wrap this up before everything dies because of te- <laughs> there's some weird technical shit going on. <laughs> but uh, uh, thank you everybody for listening to the Spingy cast. Uh, and uh, please, uh, by the way, <laughs> By the way, we have a new uh, name for our fans. Uh, Kumba, what, what, what's the new name for our fans? The Impoverished. Yeah, The Impoverished. That's the new name for nice. our fans. Yeah, so uh, thank like you. like that. It's got, it's got brand theming. Exactly. Fits yeah. with the yep. title. Exactly. Yep. It's lighthearted it's, and it's fun. Marketable. Funny. Oh, I need to say this before we quit. I was going to say this at the beginning of the podcast, but I got sidetracked. When you search for Poverty Pals on the YouTube search thing, every time I tr- search for that to get to the channel, I always find these videos that are like, the poverty statistics in the US how to live under the poverty line this depressing (laughs) shit and it's just all under the little channel thing